Hello everyone and welcome into Tarot by Aubrey. Thank you to all my new and returning subscribers. Don't forget to like, subscribe if you haven't already, hit that notification bell, click all so that you receive all the notifications of when I'm live and also when I do pre-recorded videos like this one. We have lots of content on this channel, pick a cards, zodiac, live uh, free readings, so check it out. You may even like it. Alright, we are going to go ahead and pick a pile. One, two, or three. This message is for what they think about you or why they're thinking this particular thing about you. So, why and what? What are they thinking about and why? Go ahead and pick your pile. We'll start with pile number one. All other timestamps will be below. Much love and light. I'll see you soon. Hello, pile number one, and welcome into what they are thinking about you and why. So you're the overall energy here. You have number 19. What a beautiful cocoon and butterfly. Oh my gosh. Cocoon of white light, rest in perfect love, understand oneness. So this person thinks that you are just a very open, beautiful butterfly here. Um, they just feel like you're very perfect. You could be the one for them. Um, this could be a relationship or friendship. Doesn't have to be. Um, but this, what they think about you is that you, every time you go into hermit mode, every time you plan something, it's like you just rise above and transform in such a beautiful, drastic way. Um, they really like that you connect your mind, body, and soul to really um, manifest whatever it is that you're uh, working on or desiring, right? Um, <clears throat> they also feel like you are a free soul, a free spirit, someone who is not tied down to others. I'm getting the number 10, so you could be a life path number one or nine, okay? I'm feeling that they think that you allow them to bring new beginnings, right? Ending cycles. You could be a cycle breaker. But what they think about you is that you allow them to rest their mind, body, and spirit. To allow people to transform as well, right? With the um, understanding that you have. I feel like because you do... Pile number one, you do communicate with source energy, not only to transform your life, but to transform other people's lives as well. All right, pile number one, let's go ahead and get some confirmation here as to what they're thinking and why. What are they thinking about you and why? Pile number one. We have the Ace of Cups reversed so yeah getting a sense of like reclusive energy what else why are why are they thinking about you and what are they thinking about why and what are they thinking about please for pile number one Thank you. So we have the three of wands. There's some type of planning or desire. Thinking about wanting to travel to you. Okay. Not sure when to make the right move. We have the queen of swords. This could have been a very harsh conversation that was had. Um, somebody fell out. As far as like emotional wise, like crying, okay, maybe some harsh words were said, but 
with this energy here. I feel like they think about the times that they have made you cry and they like feel upset over it. Um, it's like they're planning a way to ask for your forgiveness. I feel like they were very harsh on you as far as words and, and tone. Maybe they themselves didn't think that they were coming off that way, but they really were. And deep inside, it made you cry, right? It made you sad. It made you feel like less than. So I definitely feel that this person does think about that. This person um, thinks that... Uh, yes, you are deserving of transforming because of how they hurt you. They think that you are a um, big explorer, okay? You really do plan ahead. You make moves. This is why you were able to transform. They understood that they couldn't go with you. Wherever you were traveling, wherever you may be, or wherever you are, they knew that they were not able to go, and they fully accepted that, right? They understood. They understood that it was a solo path. It was a solo mission. But they do think about <clears throat> how harsh they were towards you. Um, I feel like... This person wants to have peace with you. I feel like this person, if they still do, you know, see you or like watch you, I feel like if they do, it's behind your back pretty much. It's not like stalking you, but it's like sometimes they will watch. Um, and it's because they want to find peace. They see how much you have transformed, how much you have evolved. They, they see and they think that you are a very independent person. They think that you are bringing peace to people around you. And they understand that you are on a, on a mission to bring peace, right? Um, to help people fully learn from their mistakes. Also, to grow from those mistakes, right? So this is what people think about you and why they think this is because you're a very understanding person. Um, you plan ahead. You go after what you want. Um, you don't sit around and wait for anybody to do it for you. Why? Because that's only going to bring sadness and it's only going to bring depression. And I feel like that's why people really do think that you're a very independent person. You yourself could be also harsh in, in tone and harsh in words. And I don't feel like it. it um, you truly mean it. I think it's just because you're wrapped up in everything, right? You're so wrapped up in everything that I feel like people think that you need to open up a little bit more. Um and this harshness tone may be coming from a depressive state of mind, emotions, something that caused sadness in your past. And that could have caused um, some tension, right? That could have caused you to want to be independent. And that's how see people see you. Um, but I feel like you have fully learned from this. I feel like you are moving on to peace, to finding either finding the one for yourself or finding yourself or just allowing yourself to really transform through your body, mind, and soul. So I really do hope that these messages brought you a little bit of clarification on what people think about you and why. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Much love to all my beautiful souls. Take care. Hello, pal number two, and welcome into what they think about you and why. So the overall energy that they get from you is stand in your power. So you are someone who is very powerful. You could be um, life path number five. Look into that. Uh, 
five is also a person who is always rising above, always ascending. You could be tapping into the spiritual realm, someone who cut cords from any um, negativity, someone who <laughs> taps into their chakras, right? Especially like the crown and the heart chakra to really... Um, connect with this divine source right people think that you are very powerful you stand in in your power because you set boundaries it says be passionate about your vision bring about positive change so by doing this by setting those boundaries by tapping into source energy also third eye chakra as well throat okay so all of your chakras you're tapping into and by doing this you are um, setting a vision or you're manifesting, um, passionate things, um, in your life, things that you're talented, um, things that you can create. Okay. Cause I feel like she created this tool here. So things that you are able to create. And I feel like people really see you as a very passionate, creative person, someone who is of the higher power, someone who is of the higher realm, co-creating with the um, spiritual realm to manifest whatever it is that you're trying to um, bring into this life. And they do see that. They recognize that about you. They see your aura of light as well. Um, they also see that you bring positive change into this world, right? With the visions and the plans and the power that you have. Um, so these are a couple of things that they do see um, that they think and think about you, okay? Um, why do they think these things about you, pile number two? Okay, they think these things because you are a very compassionate, loving soul. You could be a water sign, someone who is just very in tuned with uh, their emotions, okay? And this is why you're able to dive into your chakras to really communicate with source energy to bring in the, the, the power, right? Uh, to bring in the creative ideas and the visions and everything that you have. It's because you're a very intuitive person, but also you can attract negative people towards you. So um, there is this sense of needing to release. And that's why I get that sense of setting boundaries. Um, because you can attract negative on top of positive. So um, I feel like because you are a very positive person, sometimes you can attract that negativity. And that's why people really feel like you are very standoffish at times because you do have to create those boundaries between you and other people. And that's totally fine. That's healthy. That is a healthy relationship um, between you and others because you need that time to be creative, to really tap into your intuitive emotions. You need that time to shed off uh, negative energies but the reason why people think this about you is because you're very uh, you could be a very sensitive person they they understand that you're very sensitive you're a highly highly sensitive being and that can cause imbalance in your life um, they can also think at times that you're indecisive I mean water signs usually are um, we just have this clear like we don't know which way we want to go because we have envisioned it all pretty much um and I feel like that's where this indecisiveness comes from so people can really think that oh my gosh this person really doesn't know how to make a decision but at the end of the day with the four of pentacles we are always standing on our own two feet no matter what pile number two I feel like that energy like you just hold on to your own energy okay you hold on to the things that you have created in this life um i feel like the reason why you're not quick to make decisions is because you want something that's stable you want someone something or someone that is long term okay um i do feel that when people look at you they do see stability they do see um someone who can create that sacred space like a home environment right they're able to come to you with their feelings 
whenever they are feeling imbalanced and you help them to maybe uh, help to make a, a decision, right? Yeah, as I was saying, justice, reverse, imbalance, um, energies, right? Unfairness, feeling unequal to people. Um, and that's because... you. <laughs> you're a very sensitive person so you're you're gonna feel like people aren't always fair um there could be people because they do see that that you stand in your power that they try to throw you off right they try they manipulatively try to throw you off of your path they want to bring you in balance but I feel like because you stand in your power so highly like you're very protected and looked over right and and I feel like it could be your ancestors, right? Because I, I see two um, ancestral uh, people here. We do have a man and a woman. So you could be in a relationship as well. People do see that. Um, they see that your relationship is solid, right? Uh, on a solid foundation. And I feel like um, they also do see that you're good with money as well. Um, what else? Pile number two. Yeah, they just see that you are of good fortune. Um, everything that you want or you like you go for. Um, I don't feel like you allow these people to bring you down to to their level. And that's because you do set their set boundaries. OK, Um I feel like you are, people look at you as if you like you have good, good fame and fortune. Okay. You could be someone famous. You could be someone who is just always on the top of things, right? T, T O P, top. Uh, we have, uh, you're someone who works with all, uh, elements, right? And that allows you to, understand how to be powerful or how to hone in that power right uh, we have the king of wands so very bold people see you as very bold leader someone who is able to take those passions and desires and do something with it right very protected um I, I just I feel like this masculine energy but also a sense of feminine energy so I feel like um you're someone who really has to learn how to balance that out, right? And I feel like once you do balance that out, people really do see you for for um, who you are. They really do see that light, that power within you. And that's why they say you are someone who is of good fortune and fame. Um, and I definitely see that people really do love your peace and harmony that you bring to them. Um and uh, they do see that um, you're someone who has good luck. I don't know how someone would <laughs> really determine that. But when people look at you, they see that you have the relationship that you want, right? You're happy. You're peaceful. You're in harmony. You're stable in your home and your finances. And you have good luck and good fortune. So, I mean keep on doing what you're doing because obviously these 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 people see what you're attracting um and they want it like I, I just feel like this jealousy um type of energy like they are so imbalanced in their lives that they want what's yours and they're looking up at you like what the hell like what do I have to do to get this but just keep doing you boo like don't just keep setting those healthy boundaries keep on walking through and you'll be fine, my darlings. But this is what they think about you and why. So don't forget to like, subscribe, comment below. Much love and light. Take care. Hello and welcome in to Tarot by Aubrey. These are the messages on what they think about you and why. All right. So let's go ahead and see what the overall energy is. Cosmic Rainbow. What a beautiful card here. So based on this, I see that people really see that you are a um, 
you could be a storm chaser is what I'm getting. Um, someone who just really rides that storm and um, never like looking back, always looking to the future. You could be a singer, songwriter, someone who really loves music, always looking for the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow because I feel like there has been many storms in your life and um, as long as you follow that path, it will not lead you astray and I feel like you are someone who just always sees the brighter side of the situation and because of that, you do find the the gold at the end of the rainbow, okay? What a beautiful sight, okay? You could be a traveler, like people just see you as such a beautiful, um, they could like your voice, they could like the way that, that you sing, um, they just love how outgoing you are because I, f I feel like you're someone who just keeps on moving forward, right? So it says, look for the pot of gold, accept joy. So you are someone who is very joyous, someone who's um, always spreads the positive energy, someone who um, is just looked at as a very happy person, okay? Even when times are gray, right? Um, you could be a free spirit or a free bird. Let's go ahead and tap into this a little bit for pile number three on what they think about you. What do they think about you, pile number three? Okay, so we have the death card here. And you see how this is like facing the same direction. So, like I said, in the past, there was some type of, whoop, in the past there was some type of death that occurred or some type of uh, gloomy energy here, right? Something that needed to be let go of in order to find this light, okay? And I feel like um, people do see at one point, they saw this transformation. They saw at one point where you were ju just this dark, gloomy person, right? And they saw this transformation on when you, like you always look at the brighter side of the situation. You could be a path life number six is what I'm getting. But because of this, you always find the pot of gold. No matter what, you always find the light in the dark, deadest situations. Like, you always find a way to find, like, to give gratitude for even the shittiest moments. And, wow, that's just, like, that's what they see. That's that's what they think about you. Um, and that's such a beautiful thing because when you are down and out and it's dark and gloomy and you're, you just feel dead inside, right? It's hard. It's hard to get out of that funk. It is so hard. <laughs> so I, I feel like when people see that, they really do embrace um, that you are able to do that, right? You are able to let go. You are able to break free from that um, uh, energy. Um, wow. <laughs> that's so amazing. Okay, I'm just like in awe right now. Um, and that's the feeling that you give them, right? Um, with the Queen of Cups, you could be a feminine uh, fem feminine energy. But I feel like there could be, because we see like this person here, there could be a person here that uh, that really teaches you or allows you to uh, really uh, give yourself that self-love. Or this could be you. Like, you just pour so much into your own cup here. Th when you are feeling this way, when you are feeling down and out, like, you pour so much into your cup, so much self-love, self-positive uh, affirmations. Maybe you could be uh, getting a spa or getting your... Um, hands, uh, nails done, doing your makeup, making yourself feel good, right? Um, and singing to yourself, listening to music when you are in that funk and people do see how much of a transformation you really, um, 
like that that mood switch is also what I'm getting um, uh, they really do recognize how beautiful you are inside and out that's what I'm also getting um, okay page of swords they think that you are just a very open-minded person you go with the flow um, you have open-ended conversations with people like you you just you don't judge also like I feel like you could also be like a messenger this could also be why you're traveling um, you just bring lots of messages to people around you um, you're very optimistic so like I said you stay focused on the future like you don't look back on the past the past doesn't matter I feel like because you pour so much into your heart and your soul um that is why, like, yeah, you let go of the past. The past is the past. You let it go. I feel like you broke free from this funk. People have seen that. You broke free um, from whatever um, feeling that you were in. You let that go. And look, with the Queen of Wands here, very passionate person, someone who is very confident with them, within themselves, okay? Um, they may even like the way that, that you look, the way that you dress, the way that you carry yourself, um, you could be a water sign or a fire sign, but I feel like you mix these two together and it's just like, boom, it brings a um, very attractive uh, feeling f towards you, okay? You could own a black cat. They may even like your cat. I don't know, but they they think that you are someone who is just very optimistic, um, willing to... Put in whatever it is that needs to be put in because you're a very passionate person. You're very driven. So you're willing to pour into your cup first before you give to anybody. And that's that's a beautiful thing. Um, look, with the five of cups, yeah, to find your own peace and happiness. Um, they feel that you are a very uh, positive person. And look, with the even even in the negative times, even in the most negative situation with your cups spilled, you are still pile number three, looking at the beauty of the situation and trying to find the meaning of it all. And I feel like they really do love that about you. They love that you are able to break free from any chains that are holding you back. Um, they love how beautiful and confident you are. Um, and uh, those are the messages that I have. So please let me know if this resonates. All right. Much love and light to all my beautiful souls. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell. Uh, select all so that you can get all the live notifications as well as pre-recorded. Much love and light. Take care.